Welcome to this demo video of the FX Algo Trader Trendline Trader 1 entry level automated trading system. So, to get this up and running so that you can automatically trade from trend lines, just load a chart of your choice. And I've got a five minute cable chart here, which is a sterling US dollar. And you need to go to your expert advisors once you've installed the product and look for an expert advisor called FXA Trendline Trader 1. Load that onto your chart and allow DLL imports and allow live trading. Make sure those are ticked and click OK. Now the system uses a Java FX interface for controlling and configuring the trend lines. And in order to get this to run, you just need to install a Java runtime environment, which you can do so by downloading it from java.com. And that's free. And to actually load the FX Algo trade, trade interface, you open the MT4 data folder and you scroll down to a file called FXA JFX interface. Double click that and the interface will now open and it will ask you for your unit reference number and ID. Enter those details and click customer login. So you'll see here this is the product catalog and you go down to trendline trading systems and select trendline trader one and to get rid of this warning you just change the time frame on the chart and the warning will disappear now in order to configure a trend line all we need to do is draw a trend line on this chart and if we're looking to say for example to trade off a little uptick on this very quite this quite aggressive downtrend draw a trend line through the swing highs that you want to trade from click on the trend line and now you'll see the trend line has been automatically detected by the system saying trend line 49695 four, we can check that by going to properties on the chart and if we click the common tab and show object descriptions we can now see that trend line there 49695 is correct now we need to tell the trend line what we want to do and trend line trader 1 is a very simple buy and sell uh, system so first of all we need to let's configure the number of lots so we'll reduce the lots down to 0.1 I can do that quickly by just entering it from the keypad so 0.1 press enter and I want this to be a sell based trade and you'll notice now that a trigger grid has been displayed on the chart for us automatically and I can move my stops and take profit levels either by using the spinners in the interface as you can see here so I've just moved the stop and the take profit level down or I can adjust them dynamically on the chart so I can move this take profit level to where I want it and when we get a tick coming in the take profit level will be updated automatically so same with the stop I'm just moving that stop and that's gone to 32 pips this dotted line here is the trigger channel and so in order for the system to, to execute trades price action must be between the trigger channel and the trend line so if we want to force a trade on this demo we can increase this or the trigger channel sensitivity by moving it away from the trend line and you can see here as soon as we get to a point where price action is inside this trigger channel you've just seen here we've got a trade being executed so I go to the terminal uh, and look at the trade tab and we can see here we've got a sell 0.1 lots sterling US dollar and the stops and take profit levels have been put in for us automatically once the actual trade has been executed you can't control the stop and take profit levels from the interface the interface here these stop take profit levels lot sensitivity etc they are pre-trade parameters but if you want to change the actual stop and take profit levels of the live trade, just turn the trigger grid off. So now you'll see the actual stops and take profit levels here. We can adjust them dynamically on the chart just by simply clicking on the level and dragging it where you want it to be. And you can see as the tick data comes in, these stop and take profit levels will be adjusted dynamically. So notice the stop is currently one spot 2151 if I move it down a little bit it's gone to 2147 and the same thing with a stop loss we've got one spot 22077 can move it up a bit 
and you can now see when we get a tick coming in, it's now moved to one spot 22, 134. So that is the system working for us. Um, very simple, very easy to use. You can run any number of trend lines you want on the same chart. So you could have multiple strategies. So if you wanted to have multiple entries, you could draw another trend line up here and you could configure this as a cell and exactly the same thing applies. So we'd be looking for, it's got a cell TP1, this is showing the grid on this. We can change the colors for this particular version if we want. So to, to actually make it clear, easy for us to see, we'll change the actual trigger grid colors to olive so they stand out from the other trade which has been executed and in the same way I can also just adjust away and configure it how I want. If I delete that trend line you can see those levels now disappear. I can obviously run this on multiple charts so for example I wanted to run the system on a euro dollar chart exactly the same thing applies so I just go into my expert advisors, close down the interface, we'll minimize it for a second, put trendline trader one onto the chart, go to the interface, draw a trend line. So again, I might want to be looking to say potentially buy this dip here, click on the trend line, make sure it's detected, enable object descriptions on your chart. So we've got trend line four, double nine, nine, five, which is exactly as we see here. We want this to be a buy. And when we get a tick coming in, you'll see basically the trigger level, trigger grid being displayed. We've got a stop and a take profit level, which are 20 pips. It's running a standard sensitivity of two pips on the trigger channel. If I want to force a trade here, I can just simply expand the trigger channel and you can see the trade's been executed, so it's saying buy 0.1 lots, euro dollar, and that's long touch. And it tells you the name of the trend line in here in the order comment for treble nine five, whereas the cable trade was triggered off trend line four nine six nine five. So again, if you want to manage that trade now, turn off the trigger grid, and now you can see those levels can be adjusted dynamically directly from the chart as you see fit. So that's the trend line trader one, and that allows you to very simply create buy and sell opportunities using a, a, an automated system which you can pre-configure and then just leave empty for running and the system will do the rest of the work for you. So entry level, um, it's got loads of functionality. So you can set up profiles, you've got complete color control options over all your pre-trade grid controls and also your post-trade line controls. For example, if I wanted to change the take profit line colors, I'll just change that to olive and I can change the line start to dotted if I wish to. And in the same way, the stop loss can also be adjusted as well. So let's go to a green and we'll go for a dashed line style on that. Again, I can change my join line styles and colors. So joins are represented by the these dotted lines here which join up the actual physical order entry point to the stop loss and take profit levels if i don't want to show the joins i can just go up to here and take off show order joins and those joins now disappear i've got control over the maximum number of orders the order interval the maximum risk and also i can set the system up to simply just trade one order only or if I want to trade multiple orders, I can then set it up to trade a number of trader-defined orders uh, separated by an interval here, which is in minutes. And you can see the system has just executed another order here, because if we look at our, our setup grid, the actual price action is just inside the trigger grid there. So that is Trendline Trader 1, entry level, but powerful and very easy to configure and use. Thanks for watching.